I'm Randall Berg, your concierge yacht broker. with love that yacht.com. I'm on the docks at Harbortown, Florida. Get ready to load this brand new, absolute, a gorgeous state-of-the-art motor yacht. You can see the bridge is already shrink-wrapped. And uh, we're gonna drive her down to uh, Port Everglades and load her. Our load time's in about an hour. But this is um, as good as it gets. It's being shipped up to Canada. And uh, we're gonna go visit it up in Canada when it's splashed. But right now, it's about taking a boat that has been shrink-wrapped and ready to load, driving it to the port, uh, setting it up with slings and the loadmaster at the port and the diver, lifting it up in, onto the ship while we've been offloaded to a tender to bring us back uh, to the 15th Street landing. And that's what we're going to do today. Randleberg, concierge yacht broker at lovethatyacht.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. So it's early morning, about 7 o'clock. We're at the dock. The Absolute is bubble wrapped and ready to be shipped. We'll be driving it from inside the boat. But this is a state-of-the-art direction that boating is going. It's truly a fine art. It's built in Turkey, actually, but with all the techni technology and design features you can put in a yacht today. We are leaving Harbor Town in a brand new Absolute 70. We're taking it to the Port Everglades. Gonna load it on a ship and it'll be shipped to Vancouver. So this is Harbor Town. And we're leaving it. It's a great boating center. A lot of the dealers are here, big boat yards. Pretty good access to the harbor. And so we're, we've left the Harbor Town Marina area. We're in the Dana Cut, heading towards Fort Lauderdale. And as you can see, it's pretty narrow. You gotta watch what you're doing, but it opens up. And you can see this gorgeous sunrise where we can see. So we made the turn of the Dana Cut and we're headed towards Fort Lauderdale Harbor and Port Everglades. You can see some of the commercial boats right here. Should be interesting to get the Loadmaster, get the slings on it, offload back in the harbor, back to our slip through the uh, tender provided. I mean, just by looking at the helm of the Absolute, you can see it's total state of the art, touch screen everything. There's a touch screen command center to the left controls pretty much every function on the boat and makes it a dream to operate more importantly this is a quiet boat you cannot even hear the engines running whether you're in the cabin or in the swim step or the cockpit so we're at uh, Fort, Ever Fort Everglades waiting for the loadmaster to give us the word to bring the boat in there's a ship behind us that we're gonna load on we push the skyhook or dynamic uh, positioning button on the absolute and no one's at the helm it's staying exactly where we want it to be i mean this is incredible technology with the ips drives and with the skyhook or positioning technology with the gyro so great stuff wait for the load mass to signal us and we'll move up next to the boat and put her on board so captain chris is using the pod drives <clears throat> and moving the boat sideways slowly towards the tanker totally controlled absolute beautiful technology in this boat and it's just a dream by uh, a complete dream boat with the volvos and the pod drives you can see how close we are you good this is the ship right there so as you can see we're right up close to the hull of the uh, shipping tanker. It's a massive piece of steel, solid, scary, but we're inches away. That's fantastic. Really great. Amazing. Okay, so that's it. Captain and crew are stepping off the boat into the tender, and we're going to let the shipper do their job. They're going to sling it, lift it up, block it up, secure it down, and ship it to Canada. Randleberg, your concierge yacht broker at lovethatyacht.com. Uh, be sure to, to subscribe to my videos and you get all the videos. I've got about a thousand of them. Have a great day. And that's a ride home. And there she is. 73 foot absolute, not a 70. Brand new. Headed towards Canada. And we are headed back to the harbor.
So we're headed through Fort Lauderdale Harbor towards the 15th Street landing, which is just under the 17th Street Bridge we can see ahead of us. It's a beautiful stretch of water. I absolutely love coming here and seeing the huge boats and the bridge construction. And uh, here you can see how massively this opening bridge is built. It's built to survive 150 knot winds, obviously. And it's a 70th Street, 17th Street bridge access to uh, the whole area. There's some beautiful big yachts moored here. That's one of the beauties, and we're passing another one. And there's hundreds of these yachts in Fort Lauderdale Harbor. It's total eye candy. If you come visit, go rent a boat, cruise around, get a pontoon boat, get a little outboard motor boat, but do get on the water and see some of these wonderful craft. There's a giant Benetti we're gonna pass by on, this is the 15th Street right here. And just, I mean, look at this. How often do you see these kind of crafts we're heading now toward the landing area. It's a loading ramp and a landing area. And it's past the police boats. Um, and there's boats on both sides and there's restaurants at the end. And uh, we're gonna pick up an Uber and uh, head on home. So there you have it. The pilot boat dropped us off. 15th Street Pier over here. We're picking up an Uber, pick up our cars, and that's it. Our 73 foot absolute, not 70 foot, is on his way to Vancouver. Randleburg, love that yacht.com. Have a great day. Yeah.